got a magic money tree for the NHS. Oh, but I have got 100 billion to give to the European Union. Oh, and I've got 160 billion that I can give to the people, uh, you and everyone else. Well, not to you, obviously, but to our management that are going to look after it well. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got that, but uh, no, no, for, money for food, for children. No, no, we've got none of that. No, 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 no. We've only got money for war. War is the only thing we've got money for. The secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Socrates. As an American, you can criticise any government in the world, including your own. This is called freedom of speech. But you can't criticise Israel's government. Violations of human rights. This is branded as anti-Semitic. I think we're seeing through this anti-Semitic bollocks now, haven't we? Forgotten Ireland, a plane with five passengers on board. Donald Trump, Leo Varadaker, the Pope, Theresa May and ten-year-old schoolgirl. The plane is about to crash and there are only four parachutes. Trump says, I need one eye to sort out building a wall around the US. Takes one and jumps. Theresa May says, I need one, I've got to screw the p British public over with Brexit. Takes one and jumps. Leo what, says, I'm the smartest man in Ireland and have to sort out the financial mess back home. Takes one and jumps. The Pope says to the 10 year old girl, You can have the last what, parachute. I've lived my life. Uh, yours is only starting. The 10 year old says, Sure, there's two parachutes left. The smartest man in Ireland took my school bag. The power of makeup. Before, after. Before, after before after council council orders nurse 53 to pay 800 pounds just to park on her own driveway after health and safety officials deemed curbs outside home to be two inches too too tall despite her living there for 12 years we really need to get rid of these shitty councils Helen Maloney was told she couldn't park at her home in Southport, Merseyside. The 53-year-old received a letter from Sefton Council last summer informing her it claimed no suitable vehicle crossing had been constructed outside her home and so she had to sp split a 1600 bill with her next door neighbour to get it fixed. Has anything similar happened to you? Yeah, yeah. So, basically, this is the council the dictatorship, because the dictatorship council is just a, an, a, an arm of the dictatorship government. And it's time we ended the, the pair of them. <clears throat> Watch drug to gr grill head of police in Lloyd's bank fraud probe. Even the Somerset constable is accused of failing to investigate allegations of bank fraud. Oh, what a shock, the police failing to investigate their paymasters. I just couldn't see that coming, could you? Oh, you could. <laughs> Police watchdogs are grill. Grill. Uh, police watchdogs do will grill the elected head of Avon and Somerset Constabulary at, at a show, showdown next week into failures by the force to investigate an alleged multi million pound banking scam whose victims include TV star Noel Edmonds. The meeting was announced. Uh, as campaigners handed members of the police and crime panel a dossier of evidence they claim shows criminality at Lloyd's headquarters in Bristol. Then Osara needs to go to jail, doesn't he? Victims accuse police and crime commissioner PCC Sue Mont Stevens of failing to hold a force to account by not ensuring it carried out the thorough investigation and made allegations of cover-ups by officers. Do you mean the police are corrupt? Well, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Last month, panel member who scrutinised the PCC's actions agreed to launch an inquiry into the complaints after Mr Edmonds alleged in a written statement there had been systematic criminality at Lloyd's Banking Group and widespread collusion to conceal it. The company, which has cons uh, consistently denied the claims, is accused of criminal asset stripping, the forcing businesses closure in order to recover millions of pounds in loans and fees. At the panel's latest meeting on March 12th, victims said the scam called bait and switch hoodwinked them into taking out loans against their homes and some of the transactions were made fraudulently by corrupt bankers using customers' incorrect personal details including wrong dates of birth. What a shock. The banks the whole banking system is corrupt. You know, who'd have known? 
George Bush Senior groomed and played with little boys, says his Deputy Assistant Secretary. Dr Stephen Pizendersnick, a former Department of State official, has implicated George Bush Senior as a sexual abuser of young boys. Pizendersnick has held many roles within the US political arena, including serving as a Deputy Assistant Secretary to State of State under Henry Kissinger, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George H. W. Bush. He has also worked for numerous agencies, including the CIA. So basically, George Bush Sr. was a paedophile, a child rapist. Again, oh, I'm shocked. Oh, except uh, I think it was uh, David Icke came out 20 years ago and said it. Brexit has finally broken the British political system. The British political system has existed in a relatively similar form for hundreds of years. Periodically an issue will arise which causes a shock to the system. Reform follows and then the life returns to normal. Even the pl parliamentary building at, are at throwback to the an earlier era, fa failing to have enough even enough seats for the all 650 MPs who elected to the chamber. It is a parliamentary system which prides itself on the ability to be bomb-proof, immune and to the temporary ebb and flows of populism providing strong and state majority of... yeah, well it's just going on about the usual crap about Brexit which is never going to happen and as we'll find out in a moment as you will see. <coughs> Courts are unlawful. unlawful. Confirmation of courts are debt collectors, not courts of justice. Now, it's a reasonably long doc document. I'm not going to read it, but the link will be in the description. Uh, or you can freeze it and zoom in on this video. Delete Facebook now. WhatsApp co-founder accuses Mark Zuckerberg of trading privacy for revenue after allowing ads on the platform. Brian Acton sold WhatsApp to Facebook for 14 billion. Just a bit of change, no to worry about that. In 2014 and left in 2017. Defending his decision, he said that he was thinking about that his employees. He called for him, pro, people to reject Facebook by deleting the app, the apps from their phones. The former CEO didn't agree with Facebook's monetizing strategy of WhatsApp. We'll get back to that later. You're on the best stage, 4am wake up for Belgian politicians. Oh, you've got to feel for them, haven't you? The LFS having to get up at that time in the morning to go out and wake him up. <clears throat> Britons will have to opt out of organ donation from next year. Changes to constant consent dubbed Max and Kira's law will be rolled out in 2020. Max and Kira law has been approved at all levels of government. The organs of all adults will be able to be taken after they die from 2020, except they take them while you're still alive. People will now have to actively tell the NHS if they do, don't want to donate. The current system is re in the reverse of and it only takes organs from people who sign up. So basically what they're doing now is they're legalising organ um, theft and organ selling. That's what this is all about. Nothing to do with saving anyone. Facebook loses two top execs as CPO Chris Cox and WhatsApp VP Chris Daniels set down on the same day a week after Mark Zuckerberg unveiled new privacy focus vision. In other words, and I'm just not going to read too much about this, in other words, he's revealed a new way of spying on us even further. You can now be fined £100 for driving with loud music, new rules explained. I've been saying for a long time, they do not want us travelling, and this is further evidence. The new penalties come after one council found two-thirds of residents felt unsafe on the roads and wanted more to be done to protect them. What a crock of shit. A UK council has launched a new trial that will give authorities the right to find drivers for playing music too loud. This is just totally bullshit. Bradford Council has included a public space protection order and it means locals and visitors could be slapped with a hundred penalty for antisocial use vehicle use. The councillors, of course, when they ever introduce one, it's just as a test, they then roll it out everywhere and it's mandatory. Councillors of the Regulatory, Regulatory and Appeals Committee met at City Hall on Thursday, 7th of March, where they approved the new implementation of the PSPO 
covering the whole of the, the, the district. It relates to a number of drivers' concerns, including causing a danger on the roads, users playing loud music, shouting, swearing, or making sexual suggestions after a, a motor from a motor vehicle. The move comes after the public consultation found two thirds of residents at Bradford felt unsafe on the roads. A further 76% support, no, to a total bollocks. I've not been bleeding ass about it, so there's no 76% uh, um, approved it or what voted for it. Bullshit. 10,000 troops from 13 countries arrive in the UK for major exercise. I wonder what that's about then. Having foreign, foreign military forces on your land. Um, hmm, 10,000 of them. Hmm. Martial law, anyone? The UK will boost its defence capabilities by hosting a major international military exercise for two weeks from March 30th, 29th. March 30th? Hmm. Can anyone think of anything happening on March 29th? Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be leaving Brexit, aren't we? Supposed to be exiting the EU, leaving the EU. Oh, I wonder if these are here in case everyone gets a little bit upset when we don't leave and everything carries on as normal. Hmm. hmm. More than 10,000 military personnel, 35 warships, 5 submarines and 59 aircraft and helicopters from 13 countries will take part in an exercise joint warrior until 11th of April. Now, what you've got to get from this is whenever they hold an exercise, there's always an ulterior reason behind it. And I think we can all see what that is. The aim of Joint Warrior is to allow the UK's Royal Navy, Army, Royal Air Force and their allies to conduct joint operations involving different forces and units and against a range of current and future threats, Defence Secretary Traitor Gavin Williamson MP said. The UK military is a partner of choice for its ma major international allies. Right, well, I thought we were leaving Europe, so therefore, why are we having this the day after we're supposed to have left? Do you think maybe we aren't leaving? Do you think maybe these are there for some ulterior motive, um, like uh, martial law, or, you know? Yeah, I do. Did you know that your government is arming agencies like the IRS, DHS, DHA, OIG, SSA, NPS, what a crock of alphabet crap, whilst, whilst disarming you? I wonder if they've got anything planned over in the US. Hmm. I wonder if you've got anything planned in the UK with these 10,000 troops. Hmm. California parents want cell phone towers removed because kids keep getting cancer. What? You mean the phones, the cell phones, the mobile phones are causing cancer and so are the towers. Wow. Again, twice in one day you could have knocked me over with a feather because we all know it and when the 5G comes out, expect everyone on your road every other house someone will get cancer guaranteed it'll take two or three years to develop but the new brexit withdrawal agreement is identical to the old one just reformatted someone's been fiddling with your font size in a valiant bid to suggest the withdrawal agreement has been transferred formed by the so-called con concessions from brussels last night the document has magically changed it's, it is now about half the size of the November document, despite the fact it's, well, it just really is, but the same thing, same shit. We've been betrayed. It's treason. We all know it. You know it. I know it. But they think they're going to get away with it. And if we don't speak up, they just may. Ofcom is investigating the BBC for bias and it looks like uh, looking bad for an auntie. The BBC? Biased? Well, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Only on Tuesday this week, I was berating Joe Corbyn, presenter of the BBC's Political Life, for misrepresenting the assault against Jeremy Corbyn on Sunday. Well, you know, they looked into it and they found out, yeah, they're biased. But, well, we're not shocked. We're not shocked, are we? <clears throat> French policewoman shot dead by fellow cop in gun game. And we allow these crazy mental idiots to walk around with guns and then they're playing games and they accidentally or on purpose. Who's ever going to know? No one. Shot another cop and kill them. Wow. And they say that we can't be trusted with guns. French police to join yellow vests 
after realising government is extorting them. Well, it took them long enough. Uh, this was this is dated March 12, 2019. Police in France are being ripped off by the, their government, who is refusing to pay them for pr policing and protests. And now they have threatening to join the Yellow Vest. France has the Gilets Jaunes and Yellow Vest or Yellow Vest protests continue to take place in, across France. The government has been slowly acqu acquiescing to the demands and, of citizens. However, the concessions have not been enough, and say they have stayed the street in the streets, although mostly calm. Although also in the streets of the French police, who, according to reports, are also growing weary with the French state. The protests have been ongoing for around a month now. It's three months, actually. Uh, and the police force is tiring out and they're getting paid for it. Police in France have raked up a massive 23 million hours of overtime as they <coughs> work protests. And not a single one of them have been paid for it. So it's all down to money with the cops, you see. This scum. Now, when I first saw this, Facebook terrorist, and then I looked, expecting to see Mark Zuckerberg, but it's someone else. It's some one of the maniac kills 49 in mosque. Racist play to attack, planned attack yet for two years. Backlash as live stream appeal uh, appalls world. You'll find he's got some connection with MI5 or MI6 or the CIA or FBI. That's what normally happens in these things. Express. Unseen photos of the parasites. Look, that keeps Teresa rock, rock steady. Yes, they're hugging each other because they know that she's betrayed us, the whole of the nation, and has stabbed us in the back and is twisting the knife because there is no Brexit. As we, as, as I said a few days ago, it was there. they plan to return, rejoin the, the European Union in 2020, even though we're not going to leave it this year anyway, unless we take it into our own hands. Home Secretary Savage Javid, sickened by massacre, hate fueled attack on values that unite us all. Now remember, whenever there's anything major like this, there's always something else that they're going to want to bring in in the background. This will be some more bullshit they're going to bring in, some laws or, bull well, not laws, some rules or over here they're going to try and bring in on the back of this, because that's what they always do. Whenever there's a big thing that goes down, there's always so a reason for it and something they've been working to bring in in the background. Telegraph. The, f the first social media terror attack. Far right racist kills for you know, it's yeah yeah yeah. May told to fall on her sword as price for her deal to pass. I think that means piss off. The Times. MI5 investigates mass shooter. <laughs> Well, if they're investigating it, they're making sure there's no trail back to them. So it seems we found our connection. It's MI5. White supremacist murders dozens in New Zealand mosque. Security services review killers links to British far right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Daily fail. As Home Secretary Dam Dam's web, web giant for, for live streaming mosque terror. Oh, it's to shut you down from live streaming so that they can carry out all these attacks in France, for instance, and you won't get to see it. That's what this is about. Attack that killed 49 in New Zealand. Massacre, shame off Facebook. Waste of paper star. Face of a mass, mass massacre monster. Happy Maddie on last day in UK. Oh, what, why are they still pushing this? When we all know the parents and some of their friends are the ones that killed her in some satanic sexual thing. Aye. Innocent lost. White supremacist murders 49. Yeah, yeah, it's the same shit again. I'm not reading it all. Um, Chancellor leads crunch dogs with DUP as PM's third Brexit secretary prepares to resign. Katie Balls on Tory leadership contenders. Jessica Hayes, the female Rocky. Okay, women shouldn't box. Roddy Doyle, my recreational alter ego. The sun will still shine. Pippa Perry, optimism. Not much in that today. FT. Green battles landlords over top shop rents. Tycoon shakes up Arcadia Group. Industry fears contentious CVAs. Push for Brexit deal. Piles of pressure on car makers as plants shut in key period. Universities of spoilt children reels from bribery scandal. <laughs> 
Well, there you go. There's nothing in the shit sheets. It's all propaganda. And everything that you see has is trying to push you to think a certain way or to allow them to bring in some rule. That's whatever. Everything you ever see has a meaning to them and it could have an impact on you unless you see through it and end this bullshit.